Hi friends, it's Julie. Welcome to my story time. For today's book, I chose one of my favorite books. I've had this book a really long time, so maybe you've read it before too. It's called Adam, Adam, What Do You See? It's written by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson and illustrated by Kathy Felstead. Now, have you ever read the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? It's a familiar book. This is written by the same author, Bill Martin Jr. And he got together with his friend, Michael Sampson, and together they wrote this book. They chose Bible stories that help paint this beautiful picture for you and me. As we listen to it, I want you to think about how from the beginning of creation, through the Old Testament and through the New Testament, Jesus weaves this beautiful picture of the love that he has for you and me as all of these Bible characters seek Jesus and we can seek him too. So let's read it together. At the end of each story, I will share the scripture with you so that if you want to go and read more about that Bible story with your family, you'll know the scripture. Let's read it together. Adam, Adam, what do you see? I see creation all around me. It's from Genesis 2. Noah, Noah, what do you see? I see animals in the ark with me. It's from Genesis 7 and 8. What's your favorite animal? Abraham, Abraham, what do you see? I see a starry sky blinking at me. This is from Genesis 22. Do you remember the promise that God made Abraham? God promised Abraham that he would have more children than stars in the sky. What a big promise, a promise that only God could make and keep. Joseph, Joseph, what do you see? I see father with a coat for me. From Genesis 37. That coat sure is colorful. Moses, Moses, what do you see? I see the Red Sea parting for me. And that's from Exodus 14. Do you remember this story? where God helped Moses part the Red Sea so all of God's people could be free. It's a powerful story. Samson, Samson, what do you see? I see the strength God gave me. I wonder how much that lion ways. The story is from Judges 14. Samson was really strong. God gave him that gift of strength. I bet you're really strong too, aren't you? Ruth, Ruth, what do you see? I see a new land waiting for me. Do you know who this person is behind Ruth? Her name is Naomi. They lived together. They moved to a new land. And this story comes from Ruth chapter 1. David, David, what do you see? I see Goliath glaring at me. This is from 1 Samuel 17.
Esther, Esther, what do you see? I see the king listening to me. This is from Esther chapters 5 and 7. So this is the story of how Esther helped save all of her people by talking to the king. It's a great story. This next one, I think you're going to know it. Mary, Mary, what do you see? I see baby Jesus looking at me. This is from Luke chapter 2. John, John, what do you see? I see God's Son baptized by me. This is from Matthew chapter 3. And John was Jesus' cousin, and he baptized Jesus. And do you remember the story that when he was baptized, the dove came down from heaven? Peter, Peter, what do you see? I see miracles all around me. Do you see the miracle that Jesus did for them? Look at all the fish in their nets. And this story is from Luke chapter 5. Paul, Paul, what do you see? I see an earthquake setting me free from Acts chapter 16. Do you know why Paul was in prison? He was put in prison because people didn't like him telling others about Jesus, so they put him there. But then God sent the miracle of an earthquake to set him free. Little child, little child, what do you see? I see Jesus watching over me. This is from Matthew chapter 19. Jesus watches over you too. Jesus, Jesus, what do you see? I see Adam, Noah, Abraham, Joseph, Moses, Samson, Ruth, David, Esther, Mary, John, Peter, Paul, and a little child, all seeking me. That's what I see from Proverbs 8. The end. I hope that you will always seek Jesus because he's right there and he wants to be your friend forever. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.